I mean to rush you, but I was about to lock up. Looking for anything in particular? Hypocrisy. 
dans la politique. Ce n'est pas bon, ce n'est pas bon, nous n'en voulons pas. Démagogie dans la politique. Ce n'est pas bon, ce n'est pas bon, nous n'en voulons pas. La dictature dans la politique. Ce n'est pas bon, ce n'est pas bon, nous n'en voulons pas. Du respect, du respect pour le peuple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. De la paix, de la paix pour le peuple. La politique trahit ses pères. La politique trahit ses amis. C'est aussi une machine de guerre. Impitoi pour ses ennemis. <laughs> You've got an amazing voice. Thank you. You're from Mali. Mm. And you are not. Your French is shit. <laughs> What region are you from? Bamako, the capital. Really? That's funny. Your accent's awfully funny. I'm from a Musa. Where are my manners? Julian, Musa, welcome. Please, I'd like to show you something. a lot to me, your home, an awful lot. We call it our motherland. motherland. Yes, exactly. You know who that is? I was living there, you see. I made some very close friends from Nsongo. That was almost two years ago now. Just before... The defenders of defeat. The uncertain. Yeah. Tragic. Who would not want Satan's music in its place to be Quranic verses? Sharia demanded this. What God command must be done. If you steal, off with your hands. Run, off with your feet. Don't. No, don't. No, don't. If you sing, as we have just done, out with your tongue. God's law. Imagine. Sorry, I... 
I just wanted to get your attention. Who are you? What do you want from me? Help. Help. <laughs> Take whatever's in the till. I haven't got any other money on me. Just please leave now. I'm not going to hurt you, Monsieur Julien. Please go. When you are living in my country, what did you do? I was working for a charity that sent people out to help build schools and paint orphanages. Were you one of the orphans? I really was just trying to make a difference. Merde. You came to rip and live. What the fuck do you mean? Now listen. No, I... you listen. You came to sample us, to test us, to lick us clean of everything you wanted to see. And when you didn't like the taste, when you didn't like what was on your tongue, you ran back to what you know, back to your home. Rip and run. That's what always happened, because you can't. Because you leave nothing but a political vacuum. Poverty and corruption. Perfect soil for radicalism. You're right. Our colonial legacies are invariably complex. Invariably. So arrogant. You come to build schools, make yourself feel good, making a difference. Well, I think we did make a difference, actually, in our own small way. You're far too cynical. Am I? Yes. You came to my country, stole heart, and left those whose hearts you broke in grave danger, and you do not seem to help. You are a hypocrite. Sorry, but I really don't understand what you're talking about. Are the children in danger? Everyone is in danger. Yes, of course, but what can I do now? It's a war zone, Sharia law still in place all over, Despite the French and Allied troops is an African Taliban, basically. You can save life. Well, surely. Are you? You are, aren't you? Ramatas. Your Meme, Musa, of course. Musa Sidibe, Ramata's eldest. You were away at the university in Bamako. You're not from Bamako, you're from Ansonga. And now I am here. My God, why didn't you just tell me straight away? I've been worried sick about your mother. Is she all right? What is it, Musa? Thank you. Your mother's voice will always be so. Please. 
Can you please tell me if she's all right? I wish I could. Where is she? Why did you leave? Answer me, please. When the Tareg rebels came to my village on Songo, after the coup in Bamako, the Marian army deserted and it was total chaos. After some time, the Ansardin came and took control, restoring a kind of order. But they outlawed music, radio, TV, targeting artists, writer, musician, hunting them down. People fled, and she, she was totally alone. Because long before this, you ran. You are worse than them. Very angry, I understand that. But it's misplaced. I'm not angry. I'm afraid. Mimi, please. Your mother knew that if the fundamentalists ever came, that the most dangerous thing for us both would be for her to be caught with a foreigner, an infidel. They'd have taken me for ransom and flogged her to death publicly. She made me leave. I have a family too, you see, here. You are married? No, divorced. Years ago. There isn't a day goes by when I don't want to be there. Your son looks very happy. He's lucky. Michael? Yeah, I suppose he is happy most days. He's a teenager now. Thank you. What could I do? We Skyped every day, emailed, and, and then it all just... They shut it all down. We are under siege. Under siege, yeah. Yes. Thank you for the English lesson. I really... That's right, Rumata told me. You're studying English and politics. You want to be a journalist. Clearly, you're the bright spark. She's very proud. Don't. Don't patronize me. You are a coward. A selfish, white, rich fucking coward. I don't deserve that, Musa. You, European and America. To you, Africa is just another unconvenient truth. Now, just wait a second. Boko Haram abducted hundreds of innocent schoolgirls, and the U.S. only pays attention because the first lady happened to be the same color. Well, I cannot possibly account for that, Musa. You sit idly by. Musa, please. And with ISIS beheading a white America every other week, who cares about poor black Africa anymore? You are all off the hook from ever coming back. You see, white lives are worth more. And you can always just come home. When the cultural amusement park closes, you simply get on a plane and come back to your safe, comfy, and well-fed homes. Or bookshop. This was my father's bookshop. But Ansongo, Northern Mali, that is my home. And we have no place else to go. I haven't heard from your mother in six months. She's at my ass house, in hiding, waiting for the French and UN troops to free them, finally. They live in constant fear of being discovered. The defenders of the faith still control so much despite their allies. They have spies, 
everywhere. They torture people for information. People are turning in their neighbors, relative, sister and brother. It's terrifying. I can only hope they manage to flee that the other 300,000 refugees. But where are they all going to go? I know, it's a humanitarian disaster. Mary. Oh, really? Musa, you can't be serious. Go back to Mali. Smuggle her out. I know people who will help you. And marry her. What? We can all live here with you and, and Michael. She's a popular folk singer. She always told me that she is Mali, that she would never leave. Even if that meant... I tried. She refused. She wanted to fight, to help start a resistance. I have to save her from the answer, didn't Have you spoken to any of your neighbors? None of them have seen her since the first attacks. Well, she must have been trying to protect you and herself by not making contact. Now, if she's in hiding, then at least she's safe, isn't she? What is it? She's on a list. I've seen it. Of targets deemed hostile to their authority. But she's a musician. No. She's a threat. An outspoken woman with a loyal fan base. That's why she felt it her duty to stay. Now she's trapped. I couldn't risk going to her. I was being watched, followed. It, it may be too late. What do you mean? I heard they were going door to door. And my aunt has been arrested. But what about your mother? I don't know. What? I don't know. I just feel it. That they have my mother. Now you must go to her. And do what? Negotiate. With radical extremists? Yes, they will listen to you. Of course they will, and then they'll behead me. Money talks. It may do very well, but I wouldn't know because I haven't got any. But you are British. Yes, I'm not in debt one penny beyond my pathetic means because I'm British. I haven't got any money, Musa. Take a loan. Right. <laughs> Why don't I think of that? Good idea. No problem. Another one, and then what? But she loves you. You are the only one who can save her. I can't. I'm completely helpless. She loves you. Musa, this is crazy. You should never have come here. I cannot help her. Please, save her. I can't. So you just fuck my mother and leave her to the womb? How dare you? How dare you judge me or speak about your mother like that? Shame on you. You know nothing about us. And yet you deign to start preaching morality. Who the hell do you think you are? That is something you do not have. You have abandoned a woman you have to love. You must do what is right. It's God's law. You have violated God's law. Jesus, just listen to yourself, Musa. Who do you sound like? It's not the same. You have come into my country and you apply your morality, your God's law to me. You've threatened me. You've terrorized me. Can't, can't you see who the real hypocrite is? It's not the same. Isn't it? We're all hypocrites, all guilty, all complicit. And there's not a bloody thing you or I can do about it now!
I don't drink. You're in my country now, boy. Have a bloody drink. To guilt? No. To hope. Going anywhere to stay? Then all you brought over with you. How did you even get here? By ship. Back. Oh, oh. Back. Back. Good morning. Good morning. In the scorching of him by day. In the freezing steel ice box by night. For two weeks. Crammed in like sardines. Get back! The stench became appalling. Please sit down and eat. Thank you. I don't know what to say. You can stay with me, of course. So you rescue her? But how, Musa? In the same way I got out. By bribing human traffickers. Please stop it, Musa. It's too dangerous. Staying is more dangerous. More drink. We did music. L'Angelus a sonné, un chant son dos à mes pieds. J'ai eu le courage de ne rien faire. Que le temps passe, que les heures sont les chaînes. Moi, jour après jour, je m'offrirai le plaisir de ne rien faire. Zen. You have become the perfect Marie and Monsieur Julien. She's thinking about you, your privilege and. was foolish.
I suppose. I mean, it must be much safer now with the troops on the ground in the city. I suppose I could try. Yes, Monsieur Julien, yes. If I can renew my visa, I'll call the consulate and the home office. The schools have reopened. You could go back under that pretext. And you never know, there must be some kind of asylum for her. And you. Can see it now. Why she loves you. You have a good heart, Monsieur Julien. Thank you. I haven't done anything yet. But you have, you have. <laughs> Fantastic. More music, uh, more of my mother, pourrais je Et je vous en prie. I have spat in the face of God. I, I sing the music of Satan. And for this I must be punished. It is God's law. Kili ma ye horonya be jamfa.